and we off. Let's go. Buddy turn to the right. Buddy yeah to the left. Who else to the left? John Fennell, the mayor, right there. Let's go. Let's go. Stay hydrated, guys. Stay hydrated. Brown chatterbait. Brown. Not black. Brown. I know what it is. Okay, sorry about the no intro of this video. Uh, today we're fishing Lake Salma. The water temp is 90 to 92 degrees. Air temperature is 97 to 100. Uh, the lake has been stale, I guess. Uh, water's got that icky, sticky feel to it. Uh, you can tell there hasn't been any running water in a while. So a lot of vegetation's kind of dead underwater. The, the vegetation at shore is okay. There's a bunch of little minnows. I'm assuming it's shad, the, the shad hatch from this year. A lot of fish chasing that bait. It's real small, it's like an inch long. So, put the chatterbait down. I went to the uh, Lucky Craft 78 Deep Pointer that's all clear. And I get a bunch of followers, but no takers, you know? So, I had to abandon this spot after a while. So this is an area that I'm decently familiar with. Uh, fished it quite a bit two years ago, but I don't remember brush piles being put down there. So somebody's been doing some illegal activity maybe. I don't know. I can't remember if it's illegal or not, but to put out brush piles. Uh, so if you know, let me know in the comments. But anyways, there's two brush piles. It looks like a tree and a Christmas tree. And there's also a giant rock. So three items in a row. That tells me I should fish it. So I throw my black shaky head out there and uh, I get snagged and then I get bit. Got one. Got a brush pile bite. So
we know a couple things now. They're on wood. They are on wood. <sighs> Alright, a little one. 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. Woo! Damn, he not happy. He not happy. So the other thing about tournament fishing is you can't throw the things you like. You have to throw the things that will get you bit. So everybody has a different day, but my day so far has been screaming. You need to throw a small top water, some type of small shiny top water. Okay, and it's got to be real small. So that's what I'm doing. I mean, I've been on the struggle bus for like two hours, finally. I'm like, all right, listen to your gut feeling. Your gut's gotten you all these wins and losses. <laughs> but we only remember the wins. So uh, searched my tackle box, found this Rebel Popper. It's a small, like, maybe two-inch popper. So, of course, I don't have the proper gear to throw this on. So I'm throwing it all four of I'm, I'm throwing it on floral carbon, which you shouldn't be doing. Uh, but, you know, tournament survival mode right now. So, just use what you got. A small one got a small one got a small one okay I'm still on the struggle bus it's five minutes before deadline and I kid you not I'm trying really hard to catch a fish I know it's a hard day you know if you catch a limit I'm pretty sure you'll be in the top five and yeah, that's all we ask for a chance to win if not, a chance for good points for angle of the year. So, five minutes in. Fish are still jumping. Mm. That was a hit and miss. I don't know what happened there. But I know I got the right bait. Mm. I feel confident about that. Small bass. I'm mm. just not putting it right in front of the fish. Because as you can see, fish are jumping to the right. And I'm just like two seconds behind. So, a lot of times when it's like this... The, the good anglers, uh, we fish to the very last second. And we know if there's still a chance, we still go 100%. So this is where all your blood, sweat, and tears comes into play. This is where all your practicing on uh, perfect casting, things like that, twitch uh, sequences, or being patient, and everything boils down to these moments. And a lot of times, this is how we win tournaments. You know, it comes down to the last moment. It's never the first 30 minutes in if we've already got all five fish, or three fish in this matter. So our tournaments, we fish really hard to the really end. We don't think we're really good fishermen, but we think we're really hard workers. So, uh, so I'll, let go, I'll let the footage roll, and you guys see what I can do. This is raw right here. No, uh, no real editing. I got a limit. We got a limit, guys. We got a limit. We got a limit. 
Got to limit. Got to take a picture of it quick. We got to go. We got to go. It is not 9 o'clock yet. It is 8.57. Let's go. Let's go. Go time. Eleven seven five. Eleven seven five. Let's go. It is. 58. Uh, this is uh, the Tuesday night at Big Zoma. I called limit, but my limit was 10, 11, and 11. He didn't catch anything, but he had the bites to win. He's uh, he's he's really mad at himself right now. Lost three big ones. Yeah, lost three big three ones. Three okay ones that could have won. No, you could have got. I don't think you would have won, but you would have been in the top three, definitely, right? Well, yeah, I think I would have yeah. got big bass too. Possibly big bass. That was like your fifth cast. You caught one already. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn. I was, I was still pedaling, and he already caught one. I was like, holy crap. It's gonna be a good day. And then I could catch anything after that. Hold on, stop sign, dude. So, so I had to resort to a shaky head, and I had to resort to a pop R, which I never throw. But there's a lot of minnows in the short day, and that's what I saw. And I was like, okay, well that's probably gonna be the dominant pattern. So that's why I threw. And uh, at least in my area, I guess that was a dominant pattern. But I don't know, man. I think I still finished in the top five. Still good AOI points, I guess. But nevertheless, it is a loss because it is jackpot. It's a winner take all of it. So if you're not first, you're last. You're last. That's right. So I'll check you guys out on the next one. Hope you guys like these uh, kayak tournaments that we've been doing. We're going to try to upload as many as we can. So yeah, well, give me a thumbs up and give me a like and subscribe. You guys like this type of stuff. See you guys. Later, guys.